In this video, we are going to see how to send an email when a tag is added to Asana tasks. So let's say that you're using Asana as a project management tool. And here, every time a tag is added to an existing task, you want an email to be sent to the assignee of that task. For this, you will have to set up some integration between Asana and Gmail. And the same thing can be done using Public Connect software. Here your trigger application would be Asana where a tag would be added. Then your action application would be first Asana to get the user details and then Gmail where you would be able to send an email. Now how can you do this yourself, integrate and automate this entire process? To understand that, let me take you to my screen. To begin with the process, we are first going to type the URL pabli.com slash connect and as we do that here we have reached the landing page of this software. On the right hand side, you can see two options, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are an existing user, simply sign in. If you are new here, then click on this tab, sign up. It won't take more than two minutes. And also at the time of account creation, you will get 100 free tasks to explore this application. Now I'm going to click on sign in as I'm an existing user over here. And here we have reached all applications page. Let's click on access now for Pabli Connect. And here we have reached the dashboard of this application. Now on the right hand side, you can see a tab create workflow. So let's click on this and a dialog box has appeared, which is asking us to name this workflow. Now here, what is my objective? Now here, my objective is to send an email when a tag is added to Asana tasks. So let's click on create. And here we have reached another window which has got two extremely important events. One is trigger, another one is action. Triggers and actions are basically those two principles or concepts on which this entire automation works. Trigger this, when this happens, action here says do this. So now in this integration, my trigger application would be Asana, which is a task manager. Now I'm going to click on this. And here the trigger event would be tag added to a task. So let's click on this. So this workflow is going to trigger every time a tag is added to an existing task. So now I'm going to click on connect. So here Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Asana account. So I'm going to click on add new connection and then connect with Asana. So here I have already logged into my Asana account and you can see that the authorization has been successful. Now here we have to map the tag ID. So basically here we have got different tags. So you can select which particular tag you want to go with. So let's say that I wish to go with demo tag. So I'm going to select this and click on save and send test request. So as soon as we do that here, it is saying that now do a test submission in that application in order to capture the response here. So now I'm going to take you to my Asana account. So this is the home page. And here you can see that if I go to my tasks, so I have created certain tasks here. And now here, what is my objective? My objective is to add a tag to these tasks. So let's say that I wish to add a tag to test new. So now I'm going to go to details here. And these are the details. So the assignee is Ashi Rai. And then we have the due date, which is Saturday. And then we have a project. So this is assigned to a project, which is cross-functional project plan. And then now there are two ways to add a tag. First, I can go to the three dots, more actions. As I click on this, it is going to give me the option add tags. So either I can go like this or I can simply press tab T. So as I click on this here, you can see it is asking me for the name of the tag and I wish to have demo tag. So it is now a part of this. Here, my task has been tagged. So once this is done, now I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect to see if we have received the API response. And yes, we have done that. So we can see this is the assignee GID, which is the ID. And then we have the assignee's name. Then as I take you down here, we have got the project name. Then again, as I take you down, this is the name of our task, which is test new, demo description, other details, and then this is the name of the tag. So we have received all the information here. And now what is my objective? My objective is to send a mail to this person. But here there is a thing. I haven't received the email address of my assignee. I have received the name, but I haven't received the email address of my assignee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose my action application again as Asana. Let's click on this. The action event here would be to get user. 
and now I'm going to click on connect and go ahead with the existing connection. So once this is done, here I have to map the user ID or the email ID of the person. As I click on this, it is going to show me the previous step. And this here is the assignee's ID. So I'm going to click on this. This is known as mapping. And why is it important to map? Because if I had written the same information manually, then every time the workflow would have done, it would have taken the same ID instead of taking the new ID and then my workflow would have been a waste. So that is why it is extremely important to map the information. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that yes, we have received the email address of the person. Now, what do I want? I want to send a mail to my assignee telling the person that a tag has been added to the task. So now my next action application would be Gmail. Let's click on this and the action event would be to send an email. Let's click on connect. So here again, Pabli Connect is asking to connect itself with the Gmail account. I'm going to click on add new connection, connect with Gmail. And here we have to select the account. So once selected, now I'm going to click on continue and we can see that the authorization has been successful. Now I have to here map the recipient's email address. So I'm again going to click on this. It is going to show me the previous step. I'm going to go to step two and this is the email address. Now, if you wish to add a carbon copy or a BCC, you can always add that. Now the sender's name. So sender's name is going to be static because it is not going to change. So I'm just not going to write Pabli Connect. Okay, then the email subject. So tag added to the task. Okay, then reply to, so I'm going to leave it blank. Then email content type is just plain. Now what is the email content? So here I'm going to write dear, let's map the name of the person. So I'm going to go to step one. This is the name dear and then we have the name. We have successfully added a tag now i'm going to write the name of the tag for this i'm going to go to step one and let's look for yes here it is the name of the tag so we have successfully added a tag then i have written the name of the tag to the task and now to understand the name of the task again i'm going to go to step one and it was test new so we have successfully added a tag this is the name of the tag to the task this is the name of the task and then I'm going to write regards. So this is the email content. Now, if you have any particular file to be attached here, you have to write the name of the file. And here you have to provide the URL of the file to be attached. Now I'm going to click on save and send test request. And here you can see that we have received the response. So this says that the mail has been sent. So now I'm going to take you to my mail address. So yes, you can see that we have received a mail that says, Dear Ashira, we have successfully added a tag, demo tag to the task test new regards. This basically means that our integration process is a success, but we also need to check this in real. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you back to Asana and here I've got another task and I'm going to go to details and here I'm going to press tab T and I'm going to add another tag, so demo tag. Now this tag has been added. As soon as the tag has been added, what should happen? My assignee should receive a mail. So now I'm going to take you to the email and here I'm going to go to inbox and yes, you can see that I have received a mail. Dear Ashira, we have successfully added a tag, demo tag to the task and the name of the task is new test. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. So going back to Pabli Connect, let's quickly understand what we have done. So here our trigger application is Asana where the event is tag added to a task. The action application is again Asana where our event is get user to get the email address of the person. And the final action application is Gmail where the event was to send email. I hope this is absolutely clear to you. If in case you have any doubt, you can refer to the workflow which is given in the description box. You can also clone the same and start to process immediately. Apart from this, if you have any particular integration that you wish to work on, you can always write to us. Not only this, but you can integrate multiple applications using Pabli Connect software. To ask any of your query, you have to write at forum.pabli.com. You can also visit our website, which is www.pabli.com connect. 
to get all the details about the latest updates, the integrations and applications, you can visit our Facebook group. If in case you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to share this with your friends and colleagues so that they can also get into automation and make their life easy. I'm going to see you very soon with different integrations and automations. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care of yourself.